Right, let's quickly talk about the pH scale. Now at GCSE you learned that the pH scale is a good way of seeing how acidic or how alkaline anything is. Remember that a pH of 7 means that something is neutral, universal indicator turns green. A pH of 0 will indicate huge amounts of acidity, while a pH of 14 will show that it's very alkaline. Just to give you some examples, remember that gastric juice that you find in your stomach has a pH of approximately 2, pure water has a neutral pH of 7, and oven cleaner is very alkaline, has a pH of 14. The great thing about pH scale is that it shows you a comparison between how acidic or alkaline things are, because remember, hydrogen ion concentration is so, so, so small. We're always talking about like 1 times 10 to the minus something or other that it's very hard to make comparisons, so the pH scale scales up to numbers that we can understand. Now, in terms of what you guys need to know, you need to be able to use these three equations that I've listed. So pH equals minus log times hydrogen ion concentration. Hydrogen ion concentration is 10 to the minus pH. And finally, this ion product constant, which is hydrogen ion concentration times hydroxide concentration, equals 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So let's have a look at a few example calculations. Solution of rainwater has a pH of 6.7. Calculate both the hydrogen ion concentration and the hydroxide ion concentration. So clearly we need to use this equation straight out in order to work out the hydrogen ion concentration. So we're just going to put 10 to the minus 6.7 into our calculators. We'll get a value of 2 times 10 to the minus 7 mole dm to the minus 3 and then we're going to use that bottom equation to work out the hydroxide ion concentration so substitute in what we've just worked out we're going to times that by the hydroxide ions and we know it's going to equal 1 times 10 to the minus 14 how do we get hydroxide ion concentration by itself well just divide both sides by 2 times 10 to the minus 7 to get a value which is 5.0 times 10 to the minus 8 moles to the dm to the minus 3. Number 2. Calculate the pH of a 1.2 times 10 to the minus 2 mole dm to the minus 3 solution of sodium hydroxide. So this calculation is topsy-turvy. So we're going to start by doing hydrogen ion concentration times hydroxide ion concentration equals 1 times 10 to the minus 14. We know the concentration of hydroxide ions because it's given in the question. So let's just substitute that in. To get the hydrogen ion concentration, simply divide both sides by 1.2 times 10 to the minus 2. 8.33 times 10 to the minus 13. And now we're looking for the pH, so it's a simple expedient of substituting that into minus log times the concentration of hydrogen ions. And our pH value is 12.08. Double check your pH value. It obviously needs to lie between 0 and 14 because that's how the pH scale works. If it's outside of those numbers, you definitely know you've done something wrong.